Welcome to this video. We're going to find the horizontal tangent line for the following function, sine of x. So first, let's start with a sketch so we know what we're trying to do. Sine of x looks roughly like this. So a tangent line, there's actually two of them. There's this one here. And there's this one here. So without even doing any calculus, we can already know the answers are going to be y equals 1 and y equals negative 1. So first thing we want to do is take the derivative. So f prime of x equals cosine of x. Then since it's horizontal, we know the slope needs to equal 0. So we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. So we plug in 0. 0 equals cosine x. When is the cosine 0? So if we look at the unit circle, we know that cosine of 0 is here and here, and then also all the coterminal angles. So the answer for x in this case is pi over 2 plus 2 pi n and 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. So what that means, pi over 2 is right here. So what it's saying is this point is a point of tangency, this point is a point of tangency, this point is a point of tangency, and there's an infinite number of them. That's why we have the 2 pi n here. And the 3 pi over 2 is what's down here. And then plus 2 pi n means all these points of tangency. So we only need to worry about one of them. So I'm going to worry about this pi over 2, comma, 1, that's going to be one of my points, and then this 3 pi over 2, comma negative 1, will be my other point of tangency. So these are points of tangency. Tangency. Plug these into y equals mx plus b. The m here for these are going to be 0, once again because it's horizontal. And that's how we define this is with the zero slope. X really won't matter because of the zero. So this pi over two is just going to go away. I guess I'll still write it in here. And this three pi over two. But they don't matter because they're going to end up going away because of the zero. So you have plus b plus b. In this case, we plug in a one. In this place, we plug in a negative one. So our answers are y equals one because b equals 1 here, and y equals negative 1. So here it is, the visual for why that is, and then here's how we did the calculus to solve it. Hope that makes sense, and I'll talk to you guys soon.